one of the most important, complex and time-consuming things when processing timber is getting the stuff dry. During this video, we're going to walk you through some of the steps that our American suppliers have to take. To begin with, the packs need sticks in between every layer. This allows air to flow throughout the packs during the entire process. Some companies, instead of air drying, use things called a pre-dryer. What you see behind us isn't a conventional pre-dryer, it's what's called a blow box, but it gives you an idea of the process. Now this is a normal pre-dryer. It is an enclosed building where fans are used to circulate air. The direction these fans blow changes to give the most even distribution as possible. As opposed to pre-drying, packs can be left outside to air dry. However, this is a much longer process. It's not the easiest thing to find a kiln that isn't operational in the US, but we found one here today. This kiln here isn't a massive kiln. It fits around three container loads of wood in at once. We've shown you the processes of how to get timber into stick and air dried. It'll come into a kiln like this for the final drying process. The kiln here is currently being loaded. Soon it'll be turned on and the kilning process will start. Once again, this is an enclosed building. However, the big difference between a pre-dryer and a kiln is that hot air is blown throughout the packs. The hot air for the kilns is generated by a boiler, similar to this. Every site we've visited on this trip has used their own waste sawdust to power their boilers. In the kiln control room, the moisture content of the timber is monitored using both probes and physical samples. From this room, the temperature of the kiln can be regulated. Once the timber has been dried to the correct moisture content, it needs to be taken out of stick, then both the grading and the sorting process begins. 